history is exciting. History is an argument without end. In order to understand how things are now, we need to understand how they got here. UCD is the biggest university in Ireland and the School of History is the biggest history department in Ireland. So we can offer the greatest variety of expertise across the, the spectrum of historical inquiry. I knew relatively little about history before I went to college. But when I got to college and we had a course on, on medieval history, I realised how fascinating it was. And it was partly because it was so different that you realise people haven't always thought the way we think now. I think that I was surprised, having come from the Leaving Cert, surprised at what was expected of me at history. I'm very excited by what was expected, that it wasn't about learning um, sort of dates and figures or anything like that. It's about learning about how the world has developed and why historians have developed the arguments that they have. My fascination has always been with 18th century Ireland, but in particular with the history of Parliament in the 18th century. And the building we're currently standing in epitomises that. That's what my passion was for. UCD has its own archives, which is a really rich repository for 20th century Irish history. And it's in looking back at history and going through those archives that we can often find answers and solutions to problems we face today. I teach a course called Ireland and its Neighbours in the Middle Ages, and it looks at who the Irish were and who they are now. We've got a range of staff who are interested in all aspects of history, ranging from Irish history to Australian history, all periods of the past, from the fall of the Roman Empire to the present day. So my area is obviously United States history. I focus primarily on the relationship between domestic um, issues and foreign policies. We have one lecture a week and then two seminars and we try to keep it as small as possible in terms of the teaching um, itself so that within the seminar group of perhaps 15 to 20 students there will also be small group work of three or four students debating and discussing a particular issue and then presenting that to the class. So there's always an opportunity for every student to engage in discussion. What we're looking to do, teaching students at undergraduate, is to assist them to be, become more independent critical thinkers. It's the kind of soft skills that will benefit them, whatever they do thereafter. So my friends um, from UCD have gone on to work in media, banking, HR, um, one of them works in Ryanair. This is something you, know, you really can go anywhere in terms of what it is that you decide to pursue. Every history student is in, in a way, they are researchers too. They're going out and they're trying to find answers from what's there, the evidence from the past. It's about understanding why events occurred the way that they do, why do historians interpret them in certain ways, and what can individual students contribute to that debate and that discussion. The answers aren't all there yet, that's part of the challenge. But if undergraduate students are in a module and they can see, okay, we're here today in discussing this, we are pushing the boundaries of knowledge. Mm -hmm.